Hey everyone! Today we're starting off with part one of my Barbie swirl. The reason there's a part one is because there will be a part two. Um, and that is because I didn't care for, um, I didn't hate it, but I wasn't really thrilled with my first one. And I'll explain a little bit more about why as we go along. It's, I basically just, mm, didn't anticipate some of the colors and the way they'd come out. And in my head, I had it as, I'm not going to read all the things I'm already putting up on screen because that's just silly. So it gives me, one of the reasons I put them on screen is so I can also just talk to you and tell you a little bit about the process and, and why I ended up doing a second one. Um, so these are things you might want to consider when you're doing yours. Um, I am always a little heavy handed with the mica. Uh, I never go to a point where it's not going to be a soap. Um, I don't go crazy with it, but sometimes I add more than I anticipate. I do not measure because I go by the look um, for the most part. Till I get to know a soap, then I know. I know how much I need. Um, and I normally don't mix bases that much. I, I have been lately. Um, this one I was intentionally mixing a little bit of a white base in um, for a little bit of opacity and to keep it on the lighter side. Um, and I didn't, I either didn't add enough of that or I could have added a little bit of titanium dioxide. Um, but it ended up the overall picture when I was done ended up darker than I wanted and it didn't really end up the kind of swirl I wanted although it was I do think it turned out cool let me say that and I know you hear me say that a lot it turned out neat but it wasn't what I wanted and I hear a lot of you say that too so that's one of the reasons I talk you through when something goes wrong um, and not horribly wrong so that it's a bad soap but when it turns out like I didn't expect or like I wanted then I like to show you what I sometimes will do to fix that and rectify that. Right here is one of the problems of the soap, in my opinion. I really wanted to go with a you know, Barbie pink, bubblegum pink kind of a feeling. And I feel like the pretty kitty did that perfectly. But for some reason, and flirt, this is that I'm stirring in now. Flirt mica is usually a pretty brilliant... Um, pink it's not neon and I uh, it it was darker in comparison to the neon than I thought it would be I thought it would be a nice little uh shimmery addition um I was also going for a little bit of shimmery here that's why you see me adding some sparkling micas to the clear I don't end up adding any color to that because I wanted a little bit of glitter in there a little, little glitz and of course it's the sparkling micas are um, all safe for soap and uh, better for the environment than your they're not plastic glitter so um, anyway it's I, I suspect it's the flirt mica and my use of it not just the flirt mica and it brought and even here when I put I think I put a little much um, of the neon pretty pretty kitty not pretty in pink pretty kitty um, in the the base color my main color that I used more than anything um, could have used a little bit more titanium dioxide in there and then what I would have done is lighten up the one you see me stirring now the secondary color um, which I if you I don't know if you can tell there's kind of a tier of of the colors the the um, main color and then I've got one secondary color and then two accent colors and use a little bit less of each one. And if the whole thing could have been lightened, I would have been more pleased with it. Um, which you'll see in my part two, I do that. <laughs> um, and I don't totally remake the soap as far as using, um, it's kind of a cross between a, a remake and a rebatch because I use part of these soaps to then create the next um, design. 
and I was I was happier with how the swirl came out. This one, the pour you see me doing here in the corners, and uh, I haven't done this soap in a while. This swirl, and it's um, I don't know. I I need to practice it more. I, I used to do it quite a bit, and then I just kind of stopped doing it for a bit, um, and. Uh, I need to get back at it and practice it. It's not like what you see me doing here. This is not the way I started it off. It wasn't working um, the way I normally do it. And so I was like, no, this is going wrong. And so I here you see me more starting to pour around this edges, which I've mentioned in some of the other swirls I do um, in both the, the freestyle or similar to the, the drop swirl. Um, you the outsides are going to set up first. So you don't, you always want to avoid those setting up fully. And same with the acorn swirl. If you notice, um, the, uh, the originator of the design even mentions in her tutorials, um, that, that you want to pour along the edges first, mostly to avoid pouring through too soon with the other colors and having them just blend. But it's also, um, helpful to not have the edges set up too fast and end up with just a bunch of um, lines and layers. There's nothing wrong with layers, but if you're looking for a swirl, you're not going to get it if it sets up too quickly. But this, this pour here ends up more looking like, um, oh, what do you call it? A camo, camouflage look. And when my daughter was little-ish, not tiny, but, you know, when she was in elementary school, middle school, the pink camouflage was a big thing. And so I thought that kind of went well with the Barbie theme. So I did keep some of these and um, I took pictures and everything and I, I came around to them. I just wasn't thrilled with the color. I won't say choices because I was thrilled with the color choices. It just wasn't thrilled with my use of them. So what happens as, um, as you're watching me pour these colors, the, this color, the flirt, what happens with it? I think, um, other than it being a little darker than it should, I also think, um, that it in comparison to the neon, it's a bit red. And I think it also, um, because it is in a clear base, which is what you want when you're looking for really, really vibrant colors. Um, the neons do need a little bit of titanium dioxide most of the time to really give it the vibrance you need. But other than that, if you're using a, a straight up mica, not a pigment, not a neon pigment, you usually keep it in a clear base for the most vibrancy of the color. And this one, I think because it was in a clear base, some of that, that, um, Ugh, pretty kitty came through a little bit and affected the overall tone of the red uh, I'm sorry of the flirt and made it look more like red when you see it in the finished product it looks it looks red and it to me the thing the reason I was so disappointed is it looked like a valentine soap well there's nothing wrong with a swirl that looks like a valentine soap but when your intention is a barbie swirl <laughs> It's just not right. I didn't want it to look red and it did. And I was, I was disappointed. So, um, because the swirl turned out a pretty cool looking camo, I just left it as is. And then I took some of those bars and, um, rebatched them by adding, cutting them up and cut them up and remelted them. You'll see, um, in, in part two, I even include some of the bars that I got with the rebatch so you can see um, what they look like. And that way, if you decide that's what you want to try, you can watch that tutorial as well. Um, but I, I do go back to more of a freestyle pour in that one. This one, like I say, started off trying. Oh, yeah, my camera died again. Uh, I've got to get better at that. I'm just sprinkling on a little bit of glitter. This is um, Mermaid Trails from mad micas um I, oh i did put it in here i wasn't sure i put the glitter um the uh yeah it, i i've got to figure out how to get the the swirl i was going for um 
maybe maybe pretty soon I'll put up some pictures of that so you can see what it is and what I kind of was emulating and I don't use suspension based soap um, that much I don't care for it the way it feels on my skin so I don't use it um, and I've played with it I wasn't real thrilled with the swirls I got and I'm sure that part was on me not on the base itself I know a lot of people have success with the base um, Dean Wilson has a gazillion beautiful videos on swirling with suspension base um, mine just weren't that great um, and then on top of that I would have worked to a little harder to get the feel of it if I liked the way it felt on my skin but I don't um, and I know everybody's skin is different and the way it reacts to different soaps um, is different but I can't I couldn't see like doing a huge I know I, I do some soaps that I'm not great uh, that aren't great on my skin because everybody's is different. So I use hemp soap. I use, I just use a variety for my customers. Um, so yeah, you see, it's really not a bad soap and it's a nice swirl. And some of them look like camo, the little, little thinner layers in here and there. Um, but it did, when I first pulled it out, I was like, it looks like Valentine. Even the top started looking lacy to me and I'm, uh, just wasn't, um, uh, convinced I was done with it. So I was like, I have to remake it. Um, it, and I guess the colors are pretty, pretty much showing up true. And, and the overall picture, I think if I had done the flirt differently and maybe done an in between of the white and that neon pink, it would have, I would have been a little happier with it. Um, but, uh, you playing with swirls, you really just have to play with the, the way you applying the different layers um, because they're they're going to be different like I said that one I'm trying to recapture it's more like I don't know if I started to tell you it's more like one of the swirls that Dean Wilson does with the suspension base um, but he uses a funnel the funnel pour it's it's a similar pour to that but I don't use a funnel and I do I have done him really well and I think I know what I did wrong in that um in, in this one here, trying to recreate it. So I'm going to give it another try, but not with this soap and not at this time. Maybe as I'm working on, because I am going to do a couple more Halloween type swirls, color swirls. And we will see. Although I'm really having fun with the free freestyle pour, free pour, um, drop swirl-ish. It doesn't look like a drop swirl does in, in um, cold process, but it's a similar style of pouring except you don't want to pour from as high as they do um I believe anyway I I pour mine closer so because uh, you don't want it to mix too much and that's the problem with melt and pour is you it's very easy to get this the colors to blend too much and then it gets muddy and it's not really a swirl um let me see if I left anything out of this one it's fairly short because this is I mean this is it this is what you're seeing um, it was, it was, uh, pretty, pretty quick pour and, um, hopefully you'll stick around to see part two because I really did end up liking those better. Once you do see them if, in the pictures at the end, please tell me which one you think you like better and would like to try. Um, and, um, uh, hopefully, you know you'll watch the other one too and you, that can maybe help you decide better because these pictures go by pretty quickly at the end it's it's hard to uh, get a real feel for what something looks like to me when you're doing that and I'll point them out when they come up but um, I'll I'll post in the community tab the swirl I'm trying to emulate and uh, like I said I think I know what I did wrong <laughs> of course I thought I knew what I did wrong last time too um, so hopefully this will really fix it and be it. Um, the, uh, oh, just a side note for those of you, if you haven't tried the fragrance oil that I put the um, dupe of um, the Victoria's Secret Pink Fresh and Clean, it's, it's so perfect for the Barbie soap. If you haven't tried that one, it is perfumey for those of you who don't care for perfume, perfumey fragrances, but it's also really, really nice. Um, I like it and I don't care for many perfumey soaps and I really do like this fragrance 
Um, I did use it very sparingly, as I mentioned at the beginning. You see, that's pretty. Kind of looks like clouds, but it 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 looks like a Valentine. Uh, maybe because I didn't add any pink t to that white in there, um, and the other two were a little bit too similar. I think the darker pinks were too similar to really do much of anything. Um, either that or I trying to remember if I did this as a three color or as a four color. No, nope, that is the white is the light pink. So again, they're just too different. They're too distant from each other. The light pink could have been a little darker or the dark pink could have been a little lighter and then not the flirt. I love that flirt. I use it in so many of my soaps. If you know me, you've seen me use it a bazillion times. Um, I have other pinks that I like. I just really love that. It's more of a magenta and that that red just really shows up. It's even more in these pictures and I feel like that that's even truer to the color. I don't know. Um, but that is it. If you enjoyed this, please give it a like and subscribe. If you'd like to see this one right here done, that is the lighter pink one. I'm calling it part two. And there's the other part of it. I cut them a little differently because that's what I do. If I'm not happy with the first couple of cuts, I play with the the um, cut to get the swirl to look a little different. And I was glad I did because that was kind of fun. So thanks for sticking around with me. And I hope to see you in Barbie Swirl Part 2. Bye.